Now, Target pushed back the release date, something that I have been waiting for ever since I watched John Hancock's review on it. IAT Games have been making a lot of Sega Genesis plug and plays, and this by far looks like the coolest. It is the Sega Genesis flashback, and today on Within the Box, we're taking a look at what's inside this box. <laughs> First, take a look at it. You can see the actual plug and play the console, clone console, whatever you want to call it. It looks exactly like the Sega Genesis Model 1. Exactly what gravitated me to it. It looks very cool. Now, I have a different version of the Sega Flashback that I believe is made by AT Games as well. It's a smaller form factor with a Sega Genesis cartridge slot just like this one on the box I do like the whole box art it is has a blue color with like the original Sega Genesis box grid design in the back Sonic here on the box it says 85 built-in games it shows Mortal Kombat Fantasy Star 4 it also at the bottom here says Shining Force Sonic 2. Of course, you have to have Sonic games on a Sonic flashback. It has Golden Axe Shinobi 3, which I've never played. Fantasy Star 3, I've never played that as well. You will notice on this channel that there are a fair amount of retro games that I never played. I had every system, but very few games that I have and very few games that I ever conquer. In the future, there will be a new segment on the We Deem channel specifically for playing retro video games, reliving them and conquering them. But that will be talked about at a later date. You also have Fantasy Star 2 it's columns. Yep, on the side it says plug in the TV, plug and play, duh. It says package includes, which we're not we're not going through that because that's why we're here we're gonna open the box on the back you have a, oh, I don't know if this is all 85 games but you have a bunch of them Alex the kid I've briefly played that comic zone of course yes I've played that rather enjoyed it alter beast I used to play that with my uncle junior all the time we rather enjoyed that dr. Robotnik you got Sonic and Knuckles, like I said, there's obviously going to be Sonic games on here. What would a Sonic flashback be without Sonic games? Mortal Kombat 3, a great Mortal Kombat game. Vector Man, which I've briefly played. You got Virtual Fighter 2, which I believe that's a 32X game or something that they ported from the Sega Saturn to 32X. Don't quote me, I could be wrong. And Kid Chameleon. Well, without further ado, let's get this box open and look at what's inside. Here's the console. Obviously, the console comes in a box. Very light, but as I can see, I mean, this is a brand new item. And there's a lot of dust. I already see a scratch on this. This is brand new out of the box, ladies and gentlemen. That is... Kind of upsetting, but it's not all that big of a deal, I guess. We're not going to go too much into the console and what's on the console because I obviously am going to do a review of this. It is going to be featured on reviews by this guy. And I'm going to compare this to the other retro Sega Genesis flashback that I was talking about and also the actual Sega Genesis. Two wireless controllers. Now, John Hancock said these are pretty decent, but he preferred the wired. I'm probably going to prefer the wired as well. We'll find out on that episode of Reviews by this guy. HDMI cable. Yes, this console is HDMI. That is always great. Now, I know people complain about these clone consoles, and I see why. You know what? They have their issues. Their frame rate's not always right. The sound can be off. These consoles make it easier for video game capturing and playing on your HDTV. Proprietary, really cheaply made power adapter. I personally always appreciate 
the USB power adapters, but this one does not come with it. It is pro proprietary. And you have this manual, which folds out. I wonder if it's a... Nope. It's not a poster. It would have been cool if it was a poster. I don't think I'll be using this. I think I pretty much understand how this thing works and how you set it up. That's all that's in the box, obviously. Most of the time, these clone consoles don't come with much. It'd be kind of cool if they package these things with a homebrew Sega Genesis game of some sort, but they don't. Yeah, that's, that's what's in the box. You got the console. You got the two wireless controllers. Are the same controllers that came with this console. And yes, it does say AT Games. It is made by the same company. HDMI cord and the power adapter. Well, that concludes this episode of within the box uh, if you have watched my channel before or you are subscribed if not please do hit that subscribe button you will notice that the this segment was called unbox it kind of realized that there are a lot of people on the internet using unbox it granted there are a whole lot of unboxing videos on youtube it's probably the topic that is used the most I like to be a little different at least in the name now I did some research I was about to call it unbox this they were using this unboxing it I was gonna do that yes people are using that as well I don't know if anybody's using within the box I didn't really do a search on that but that's what I'm sticking with because it closely matches my tagline for this segment which is it waits within so yeah, from now on, get used to the show being called Within the Box. Now the episodes before this will remain the same with Unbox It on it. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow for updating videos, which YouTube, I think you should change that. There definitely should be an option for updating a video because obviously I'm not going to take the videos down. It will lose its views. And I don't feel like uploading a bunch of unboxing videos all over again. People have already seen them. Well, the little few that have seen them. That was an episode of Within the Box. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments on this Sega flashback from AT Games, please Leave them down in the comments down below. If you found this to be of some sort of value, please consider sharing amongst your friends. And if you'd like to see more from the We Dean channel, please hit that subscribe button.